Who thinks they know who that is? Just looking at the eyes. Um, lots of hands up. Sanjeev. Um, Miley, Cyrus. Miley Cyrus, you think it is? Should we have a look? Who thought Miley Cyrus? Put your hand up. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah. Well done. If you thought Miley Cyrus, you get one point. Okay, put your book on the visualizer. Okay, and you get to see the, the, the picture that was taken of Dominique and his drawing. And can you see the different features that he's used? Looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. What I could do, I can, I can zoom in. So if I zoom in on this picture, just minimise a little bit more. And if I split the screen, okay, you've got Dominique one side and then Dominique the other side, look. So if I minimise a little bit more, okay, can you see? Tell me all the good things about that. The good things about what Dominique uh, is drawing there, his portrait. Um, Tyra. The eyes. The eyes, yeah. The eyes are a really good one, a really good feature. So if you look at the eyes, he's, he's drawn them, and the distance away from the eyes are the same. He could add eyelashes. So he can actually draw, and I'll get a pencil. He can start to draw. I'm just going to draw a few eyelashes on. Can you see? Yeah? What colour eyes has Dominique got? Green. Oh, if you look closely, what colour? Do you want to have a look to see um, what colour his eyes on the, on the on the lens? Yeah. Right, Dominique, can you stand up? Okay. If you face and you kneel down a little bit, okay, and if I zoom in, Right, you, you won't be able to see the board, look straight at it. What colour is, are his eyes? Green, green. Yeah, a green colour, so we can see what colour his eyes are, can't we? So, Dominic, you need to colour your eyes in green, okay? Go and sit down. No. Very good. Was that fun? <laughs> yeah. I like it. Okay. What colour are your hair? Black, so you could use a black for your hair. Or brown, couldn't you? Yeah. I've noticed that learning seems to become fun when you use the Genie Visualizer. Do you, do you think that's a, a benefit to the pupils? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean the Visualizer, it's just something new that, that's added to the lesson. And, you know, whenever something's on the board and, and they get a chance to, to put things under there, it's, it's quite exciting for them because they get, they get more involved in the lesson. If I mirror and then match it up, let's see if it'll work. Can you see, look, what, what's different about the hair? And then when it's di displayed on the board, they get a chance to just encourage each other and, um, and just assess you know, the good points and what needs improving. For example, in the drawing, um, we were looking, we, we stopped it um, part of the way through and we, said, and we had a split screen and we said, OK, that's what the picture looks like and this is what it's, it, it's progressing like. What are the good points about it now? How is it improved? And um, I think that was that. That's a good way just to you know encourage other people, just to other other pupils, just to see what they need to do and um, how they, how they need to get there. I think it's good. So the genie visualizer, is it something that you found you've really sort of taken on board as a, a major teaching tool? Well, definitely. I mean, I mean, we have it. We have it out in lessons, and you know, when, if you've got it out in each lesson, you're just tempted to use it. But I mean. It, I can use it in lots of different lessons. I mean, for example, um, we use it for science um, recently, and we went out and we looked at lots of different, you know, different colours of the leaves, and got the children to collect the leaves, and then we got to bring it back. And of course, if they want to look closely onto, in, you know, in depth in the leaves, you can zoom in, zoom out on the visualizer. So you get the children to come up, put the leaves underneath, and then, uh, you know, look, 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 and just discuss what what they've collected. So that was one a good example that we did. Have you found that it's actually been a tool that's helped you with your, your prep uh, and again with sort of getting feedback and, and moving on in, in your lesson plans? With the visualiser, when, you, when you're planning, it's just a, it's instead of do, you know, preparing um, photocopying and things like that, you can, which takes 30 minutes to two hours worth of work. With a visualiser, if you find something useful at home, a magazine or a book or a picture, you can just put it under one minute job and then the children can just discuss there. on the on the board and, and they love it. And it's really good for assessment when they're just assessing just well, what's going on in that picture, you know, what's, um, 
what's happening next, what do you think is going to happen next, you know, things like that. Does it help you, as you say, when you, when you sort of pull in all the, the pupils' different viewpoints, does it help you as a teacher sort of start to assess where each pupil is in, in their understanding of what you're teaching them? Well, yeah, well, while, while they're looking at the board, you can, you can just see them, just, just um, you know, the, the, the ones that are engaged and the ones that are really thinking about what's going on. And, and then the ones that actually answer to, you know, the, the questions, you can really just tell overall assessment what's, what's going on. And I suppose that helps you then sort of know whether or not there's areas you've got to go over again or that the, the class has got <coughs> it. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean with, with that, you can, you can redo the lesson again or redo the, it, it in the plenary. You can always, um, well, they didn't understand that, but maybe if I, re, if I go over it another time, I can just put it under. It won't take too long. It's not, I don't have to re-go over it or just flick through all the different slides and things. It's just stick it under the visualiser and it's done. Have you found it's something that you can really just come into the classroom and, and get going with? Well, to, well, to start off, to, to set up the visualiser, I mean, I'm probably not the most technical person, but with anything you need practice and uh, you know after a little bit of practice on the visualizer it was easy to set up you know a few leads from the visualizer into into the laptop laptop into the smart board and then it's just a, it's just a click of a button so you can click the button visualizer click another button and then you've got uh, the the laptop but then you can also have the visualizer on the laptop as well can't you and then you can just start using different functions so you know just have a little play around with it and then you just you can just get lots of different ideas to help you during the lesson and um, so you you you've actually found it a very simple tool to, to use in a, in a daily yeah session. yeah I mean well, once it say I mean during during the day you can just quickly say oh well that's good you know that piece of work's good that that drawing's good like in the lesson you know that's a good drawing so you can stop the lesson during you can assess easily during put their work under or get them to put their work under and say, well, look at this, look at the progress of this child's work. And um, it's really good for assessment at the beginning, during, and at the end as well. You can just, just come in whenever. And it's quite easy just to put something under, zoom in, zoom out. It's quite easy, quite fast to use. It's good.